Good evening, Capricorn. Welcome to this short reading. Are you on the right path? Generally, you know, love, career. What's the message from the angels for you, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Improving health for you as well. Mm, yeah. Increasing energy. Some of you have been sick. Remain positive. It's coming. It's just not the right time. Um, within the next few weeks. So be patient and remain positive. And yes, your health is improving. And abundance. <laughs> what you don't see coming. Well, let's see, ask Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Are you on the right path? Can you please tell me more about the improving health? I feel that there has been a lot of things going on uh, for some of you, Capricorn. Um, stubbornness, or, um, you know, um, defending, protecting, standing my ground, um, a little bit bossy. Um, should I stay or should I go? Perhaps you, you know, have more than one opportunity. But you're not giving up. And I feel that you... Yeah, you are taking in a challenge and that is coming your way, but perhaps you should slow down a little bit, you know, have a rest. It's it's not the right time right now. So yeah, what's coming? <laughs> yeah, feeling grounded, stability, safety, four of ones, victory, you know. Um perhaps new home. There's some clouds, uh, some unclarity or confusions. Yeah, some delayed news. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and the tower. Within the next few weeks. Yeah, it really turns. Wow, I feel happy, lucky, coincidence of some sort. Um, perhaps someone from the past, a soulmate or something comes in. I feel it's a gift from the universe. Everything turns with the tower. Yes, okay. This is only a short reading, so now well, let's ask the Romance Angels about your love life. Thank you. What's the message for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Honeymoon. <laughs> yes, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So, some of you are um, unforgiving and learning. Okay, thank you. And calling in a soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations bring help bring you together. Ding, ding, ding. And let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Yeah, um, yeah, I meant you know control issues, but perhaps I didn't use that word. Um, thank you. You know. Standing your ground, perhaps you're pushing, you know, try to force frame, um, yeah, the, yeah, control issues. You can't control, there's no point to try to control things that is out of, you know, our control. Um, it's a waste of time, energy, and, you know, yeah, thank you. <clears throat> and love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Yes, it is true, honey. And give your relationship a chance. Work on a partnership if you are in one and you're just facing some difficulties right now. And make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So listen to your heart. Slow down, you know, so you can listen to your heart. And, um, and the gut feeling in the stomach. And this one want to go, yeah, a new love for some. <laughs> a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Nice. And getting to know each other. 
As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. All right, lovely. I hope that some of it resonates. And thank you for watching. Take really good care and I'll see you.